In this demonstration, we will run through a full example of creating an exhaustive IP and inserting it into a target design. The target device on the board is a Vertex Ultrascale FPGA from Xilinx. First, we create a new project. We select Netlist Insertion Mode and then specify the project name and location. Now we need to set up Exhaustive IP. The first step is all about defining the link configuration, that is, where and how the Exhaustive IP is connected to the Exhaustive Probe. We first need to specify the target FPGA. Then we have to specify the bank and pin locations of the transceivers that we use for connecting the exhaustive IP to the prep. The FPGA transceivers have to receive a reference clock to generate traffic. On our board, this clock signal is connected to pin AD38 of bank 127. The frequency of this clock must be entered as well. We also need to select the line rate for the transceivers and the connector type used on the exhaustive prep. The link configuration of exhaustive IP is now complete. The second configuration step of exhaustive IP is about setting up capture units, that is, the logic for sampling data. On the left, we can see the list of capture units and data groups. Each capture unit has got the following settings. The complexity of the trigger units, the depth of the FIFO used as a storage buffer, and also optional modules such as storage qualification. We have defined a first capture unit and three multiplexed data groups. We now need to select the signals that we want to sample from the target FPGA. The target design is already synthesized and loaded into Vivado. By pressing this button, we start a special script that allows us to connect exhaustive dashboard with Vivado. With this connection, we can browse the netlist loaded in Vivado and select the clock signal that will be used for sampling data in the selected capture unit. We proceed again to select the signals that we want to sample with the capture unit. And we do it over again for each data group. Now we define the second capture unit with two data groups that we configure as well. Please note that some signals can be removed from the trigger sensitivity list to simplify the trigger logic. Now all capture units are configured. The exhaustive IP is now ready for synthesis and insertion. Synthesizing exhaustive IP and inserting it really calls the FPGA vendor tool. This is why the path to Vivado must be entered. The flow for generating and inserting exhaustive IP is described on this screen. We'll enable all the steps and we'll run DRC before implementation and bitstream generation. Now let's start. Here we go. We have to wait until the process is over.
The whole process of generating exhaustive IP and inserting it into the target FPGA netlist is now over. The place and route was run. The generating bitstream can be used to program the target FPGA. It is instrumented and ready for use with the exhaustive probe. This concludes this walkthrough of the core insertion part of Exhaustive Dashboard. Thank you for watching.